I command on him first we have to select a new assembly design then unclick the use default templates then click ok select millimeter newton second assembly design then click ok first we have to insert the components which we previously created before that just show the all planes then go to the assemble select a assemble choose our components to be inserted here after inserting our component we have to apply the fixed constraint then click ok we need to insert three more components go to the assemble select assemble choose our corresponding component then click ok just show the triad and move by using the triad then you have to specify the constraint between the two parts just move the component by using the triad at the required location then we are going to apply the constraint so this is a fixed constraint and then click ok just hide the unwanted planes then we have to insert two more components go to the assemble click assemble choose our corresponding component and click open now the pulley is a rotating element so we have to apply the constraint go to the user defined constraint and click a pin type joint so select here two center axis one is for pulley another is to the shaft after selecting the two center axis the pin joint is successfully applied here after that we need to apply the one more constraint select a print faces of pulley and shaft for the new type constraint such as a coincident then click ok the connection definition is successfully applied then we need to insert a lost component such as a pulley go to the assemble click assemble we have to select a corresponding component and place it at a required positions just click the triad move it for the required location then we have to apply the pin type joint go to the user defined and click a pin type joint select the two center axis of pulley and a shaft pin joint is successfully applied then go to the placement so select a coincident mate and we have to select a corresponding faces of pulley and a shaft now the connection definition is successfully applied So just click OK. Now we are going to apply the mechanism such as a belt drive, transmission systems. So go to the applications and select a mechanism. Inside the mechanism we have to select a belt type mechanism. Here we need to specify the faces of pulley where the belt is to be driven go to the references and select a corresponding faces of pulley for apply the belt drive just click ok after that we have to apply the servo motor just make sure by using a drag components the component is successfully rotated then we have to apply the servo motor select a servo motor and select a center axis of the component for apply the servo motor we have to apply the servo motor at smaller pulley then go to the profile details select the angular velocity type drive and quantity and specify the angular velocity in terms of degrees per second then click ok after applying the servo motor we have to go for mechanism analysis select a mechanism analysis give the corresponding end time and if rate count of frame after applying all things just click to run 
now the motion is successfully created the belt drive mechanism is also successfully applied here then we can change the minimum interval time and your frame count based upon your requirement if you have any doubts in this video just post in my command to watch more videos on the software such as SOLIDWORKS, CREO, CATE and ANSYS just click subscribe on my channel don't forget to subscribe, like and share inshallah we will meet in next video Thanks for watching. First we have to select it.